Hey everyone, welcome back to official MM2H Resources, where we dive into all things related to the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program. Let's get into it. Welcome to our channel. Today we discuss the recent changes in the Malaysia My Second Home or MM2H program. The program has undergone a significant overhaul, introducing new categories and adjusting the requirements for participants. At the heart of these changes is the introduction of the Platinum, Gold, and Silver categories, each with its own set of criteria. The Platinum category, for instance, now necessitates participants to maintain a hefty 5 million ringgit in a fixed deposit. However, it no longer offers the prospect of permanent residence. This is a notable shift from the previous structure and it's important for potential participants and existing members to be aware of these changes. The new rules also extend to agents who must now reapply for licenses under the updated regulations. So what does this mean for you? Well, it depends on your category. If you're in the Platinum category, you can engage in business investment activities or employment in Malaysia. But if you're in the Gold or Silver categories, these opportunities are not available to you. And remember, all participants must fulfill a minimum stay requirement of 60 days annually. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into what these new updates mean. Now, let's talk about these new categories in the MM2H program in detail. The program has been revamped and now features three distinct categories, Platinum, Gold, and Silver. Each category has its own set of requirements and privileges that are designed to cater to a variety of interests and financial capabilities. Let's start with the Platinum category. It's the most premium of the lot, requiring participants to maintain a whopping 5 million ringgit in a fixed deposit account. The Platinum category also allows participants to engage in business, investment activities, or even employment in Malaysia, providing unparalleled flexibility and opportunity. Next up, we have the Gold and Silver categories. These are a bit less demanding in terms of financial commitment, but they also come with a trade-off. Participants in these categories are not permitted to engage in business or employment in the country. They are, however, still granted the privilege of calling Malaysia their second home subject to fulfilling certain conditions. And speaking of conditions, there's a new rule in town that applies to all categories. Participants are now required to fulfill a minimum stay requirement of 60 days annually. This means you get to spend at least two months of the year soaking up the sun and enjoying the rich culture and warm hospitality that Malaysia has to offer. That's a lot to take in, isn't it? But don't worry, we have more to share. Let's dive deeper into the requirements of the new categories. We'll start with the Platinum tier. Participants in this category must maintain a fixed deposit account with a balance of 5 million ringgit, roughly equivalent to 1.05 million US dollars. After one year, they are allowed to withdraw up to 50% of this amount for the purpose of purchasing property, valued at a minimum of 1.5 million ringgit, accessing healthcare and traveling domestically within Malaysia. Now, let's move on to the gold tier. Participants here are required to maintain a fixed deposit of 2 million ringgit, or approximately 420,800 US dollars. Similar to the platinum tier, participants in the gold category are also allowed to withdraw up to 50% of their deposit after one year. However, the minimum property value for purchase under this category is set at 750,000 ringgit. Lastly, we have the silver tier. This category requires participants to maintain a fixed deposit of 500,000 ringgit, which is roughly 105,000 US dollars. Again, similar withdrawal provisions apply for property purchases, healthcare, and domestic travel. These are some significant changes, aren't they? But it's important to remember that each tier is designed to cater to different financial capabilities and interests. Now let's move on to the impact of these changes on both agents and participants. So what do these changes mean for agents and participants? You may wonder. Let's break it down. For agents, the path forward is now paved with new regulations. There are higher paid-up capital requirements and annual license fees have been introduced. This means agents have to dig a bit deeper into their pockets and ensure their operations are up to par with the new standards. As for the participants, the impact is more profound. The most significant change lies in the fact that permanent residence status is no longer on the table regardless of the category one falls under. 
This could be a game changer, especially for those who had plans of making Malaysia their second home permanently. For those in the platinum category, while the requirement to maintain a hefty 5 million ringgit in a fixed deposit may seem daunting, there's an upside. They now have the freedom to engage in business, investment activities, or even secure employment in Malaysia. This, however, is not the case for the gold and silver categories, where such permissions are not granted. All participants, irrespective of their category, now need to fulfill a minimum stay requirement of 60 days annually. This ensures a level of commitment to their second home, creating a more vibrant and diverse expat community in Malaysia. Interesting changes, right? But there's more. With these changes, the MM2H program is seeing a new era. To recap, the platinum category now requires a 5 million ringgit fixed deposit. Remember, this no longer grants you permanent residence status, but it does allow you to engage in business, investment, and employment. The gold and silver categories have their own set of perks and restrictions. Agents, don't forget to reapply for your licenses under these new regulations. For more detailed information, visit our website at officialmem2h.com. Thank you for watching and stay informed. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or what you'd like to see next. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.